Hey guys, today I'm gonna to break down my Lowrance unit that I use solely for down imaging, side imaging, and 2D sonar. Exactly what I used this year on the 2021 Bassmaster Elite Series. So if you just need help setting up your graph for that, or just looking for some tips to further your education with it, this is the video you wanna watch. All right, so the first thing you notice is I got basically three different panels here, my 2D, my down imaging, and my side imaging. And right now we're sitting in the shade in shallow water just for the sake of getting a good clear image of basically just my settings. Uh, we're gonna go out on the water here shortly and show you that. Uh, but first thing, if you want this setup, it's really easy to go to, uh, or you can make your own just right here on the side. Uh, select right here. You got your chart, your steering, down scan, side scan. So if you want side scan, sonar, and your down scan, that's what it's gonna pop up. You can go over here, change that. You can sw switch them around uh, however you want it. So it's really easy to customize it. And then all you gotta do is click save, and uh, I'm gonna clear that out. But basically I can go and adjust these splits to, if I want it over here, uh, the size of them all and, and just by doing that. So if I, one day I wanna be doing more uh, side imaging or whatnot, but basically I am always keeping this screen solely for my side imaging, down imaging and 2D sonar. Uh, when I'm looking offshore uh, or year round, this is, this is what I have this unit set up for and I have another unit just set up for my mapping. Um, so first thing, let's go into my 2D sonar. Pretty basic, uh, auto range. So it's always picking up the bottom really easily. Not gonna have to mess with it. 200 kilohertz of frequency. Sensitivity is on auto. Uh, I typically leave my 2D on auto unless I'm really, maybe I'm smallmouth fishing, I may adjust it. Uh, my color line, 76%. Uh, we can go into advanced. I got it on ping speed is max. Scroll speed is normal. I changed my surface clarity to low. Uh, that, so basically it's given it a little bit uh, of taking away some of that stuff, but I want to see a lot of the stuff that's going on. So I leave that on low. Uh, noise, noise rejection as well. I have that on low as well. If you put it on high, it's gonna eliminate some of the uh, maybe even you know sides of fish or anything like that it's giving you a clearer picture but it's also eliminating some stuff so that's everything for my 2d sonar really basic i use the the same color panel year round uh, now we're start to get into the down imaging we go over here to the down imaging we got the range i always have it on auto unless i'm really focused on something or a specific depth but 99 percent of the time it's on auto i go to my contrast i have that minus one on auto contrast now this can change we'll, i'll show you here shortly on the water how to play around with that and what i like to do but typically down one on the contrast is is just what i like preferably in the palette I've been using the blue palette lately. I've always been a fan of the number eight palette, um, but I've, I've kind of, my eye feels like I, I pick things up better with the blue palette. So uh, like I said, that's all, this is all personal preference. Play around with these palettes, especially if you're new to a, a unit, new to Lowrance or whatnot, try to go play with different palettes because di different people's eyes see things differently. So that's a, a major, major deal. Um, Go, we'll go into advanced again surface clarity i have that set on low like i said i'm going to try to pick up as much detail as possible by having that i never have it off i always usually leave it on low last but not least is my side imaging settings uh, i always have basically my range i'll start off with it i always set my range up uh, on my own i don't do it on auto uh, you can put it on auto and it'll adjust to, you know, basically the depth that we're in uh, right now. So two or three feet, it's putting it at 15 feet. Uh, but I always like to keep it, you know, 60, 80, 100 feet, obviously when I'm out there graphing, but I adjust that 
accordingly to what I want to be seeing. Um, frequency, 455 kilohertz is basically what I run. You can run the 800 kilohertz. I play around with it, uh, different bottoms, stuff like that. But more times than not, I'm running the 455. Contrast, I have this on plus one and on auto contrast. And again, same way with the down imaging. We'll see that out on the water here shortly. Palette, again, I'm going with the blue palette. Uh, same thing, my eyes pick up things better. It does seem to cast like more of a contrast, more of a shadow on the blue, but this, is always, this has always been uh, my go-to, number eight. But um, basically this year, I've ran the blue palette the entire year. So uh, I, I've really liked it. I feel like I pick, pick up fish better as well. So we go into advanced. Surface clarity is on low as well. So we'll get out of that. And that's basically it. Don't run my range lines. I can basically see it all right here. But that right there is my general setup when I'm hitting the water all over the country or I'm fishing an offshore tournament. These are the settings that I'm using. And now we're gonna go out and I'm gonna show you how I tweak and play around with these settings uh, basically on a day-to-day -day basis on given situations. And a little side tip when you're graphing side imaging like this, there's no need to get into a hurry. You know, three, four, four and a half miles an hour. You can go a little bit faster, uh, but just keeping a good solid steady motion of the boat is gonna give you your best, cleanest image as well. So always keep that in mind. All right, guys, we're out here on a main, uh, basically is an old creek channel right off the main channel, um, Tennessee River. So we got, decent water clarity it's not it's not crystal clear by no means so that does change how you're viewing stuff so the first thing you can look at uh, obviously my 2d that's fine i like that my my down imaging uh we can play around with the contrast I, like i said plus one we could drop that down oh i'm sorry i'm changing my side imaging okay so negative one on that if we start changing that up, you can really see how spiked up that gets. Um, and you can see off to the side here, we got some stumps, we got a lot of bait. There's a big stump right there. There's two fish on it. You can zoom in. There's one, one and two fish right there. Don't know if they're bass, they could be catfish, carp, whatever. Those are two fish picked up. That was, um, 40 feet off to the side. Uh, again, there's a there's a lay down right there. Looks like there may be a couple fish in it as well. Let's play around with the contrast on that. I got it on plus one. Let's see if we dull it down just a little bit. Now see, to me, that kind of made things pop a little bit more just by dropping the contrast. Um, it was almost too bright. Uh, and, and like I said, this is something that I change pretty much any time that I'm looking for structure. I play around with that contrast to really give me the best detail that I have for the day. Now you'd think more contrast is going to make it better. Well, not always, because sometimes you can almost blow it out and make it too bright. Um, so you can see we start to lose detail right here on this point but when we bring it back down you can almost see you can almost see the shell and hard spot on that old look see how it's kind of all broken up right here that's a big deal so just by going down uh, another uh, dust or point on the contrast you can almost see where the shell is uh, big big deal and you obviously can tell the hard bottom from from the not hard bottom or silted in areas. And this is the old, this is the old creek bed right here. And then this is the hard spot that the sides of it. So super easy to pick out. Uh, but just just playing around tweaking uh, those settings can make a big difference in what you're viewing for the day. Like I said, it's not a set in stone type of thing that you just you go out. Uh, and it's always gonna work for you every single day on that exact setting. It's a ballpark setting, but 
Things like water clarity, like if you go to some place like Lake St. Clair, that drastically changes how well your units can work in that cleaner water. They get a cleaner return on that on, on your sonar stuff. So big, big deal just playing around with it. We can, we can try the different palettes like this. Now see, the settings that I have blow this palette out. So I'd have to go through and change to a different palette. But that's why I really, really like this blue. I'm a fan of it right now. Uh, and that's just my personal opinion. Um, you know, we can go back out of it. And let's try on this, on our down imaging, if we go into advanced surface clarity, we put that on high and we lose some of that stuff. And I wanna, I wanna see bait. I wanna see all those little things in the water column. And you turn it off, obviously that's a line right there. That, I'm not, I'm not concerned with that, that's fine. Um, you know, so that's why I like running it on low to give me my best picture possible, seeing everything that's down there. And try, try the same thing with the 2D you go into advanced surface clarity. If we do it on high, doesn't really change. Yeah, it does change a lot. Look at look at the amount of stuff that we lost. I'm not real a big fan of that. So we're gonna go back on low. Uh, overall, guys, play around with your units. I hope this gets you in a ballpark of what you're looking at, what you're seeing, and how to set up your unit. Uh, so when you're out on the water. You know that it's working the way that it should be, and you know how to adjust it properly to the situations. All right, guys, I hope you find this information useful. Like I said, this is a ballpark setup to really get you dialed in and know that your unit is set up correctly, and really you can get out on the water and fine tune it to, to basically fit your eyes, to fit your needs. So I hope this helped. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please do so. We're gonna be coming out with more electronic videos in the future, so stay tuned, guys. We appreciate it.